Heyo! Welcome back, everybody. This is Ian Chikino. We're going to start game number two from IPL Korean Qualifiers. Up here on the top right side of the map is going to be our Zerg player in the red, TSL Hyun. His opponent, the winner from last game, if I recall correctly. Wait a second. Yes. <laughs> Wait, yes, the winner of the last game, I think. Oh, I'm going to be so, so stupid if I'm wrong, but this is going to be Marine King Prime. He's going to be our blue Terran player. And we are on, like, I think currently is my favorite map, uh, like, in the current, you know, tournament map pool. Uh, this, is, this is such a fun map. I don't know why, it's just, I like the... Easy to defend, uh, natural, and you got like a kind of a far away third a little bit. Fourth, this base really doesn't get taken that much, in, and this is kind of your hidden base. So uh, I think it's a fun map. I like the uh, pathing you have to go through here. It's pretty intricate. Uh, destructible rocks and the two Zolnaga Towers. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So Hyun is going to go out and look at the scouting pattern he's going for here. Look at this. You can see he's going way down here on the mini map, down way over here. Definitely unconventional scouting pattern, looking for some type of proxy, Marine King Prime, definitely known to proxy, and especially on this map, this map has such a far run distance that it seems kind of unintuitive to proxy, just because it just takes forever to get there, but uh, I mean, that's kind of just why a lot of people decide to do it, but no, Marine King Prime always likes to take risks, is going to go for Command Center first, there's two things Marine King Prime would do in this map, it's either Command Center first, or proxy two barracks, that's just, just how, that's his style, I was talking about that previously. Zerg player. Hyun's going to go for his own expansion after seeing that. And now we have a little uh, defender action. This SCV's playing a uh, little bit of the defense here against that drone, trying to get a play tag there against that other SCV. Barracks going up um, for Marine King Prime. And even another barracks. Wow, second quick barracks here. And look at this, a quick third here from Hyun. Now we're going to see a macro game, ladies and gentlemen. Macro game here between Marine King and Hyun. Hot action here between the SCV and Drone. Hyun has done a lot of scouting here. You can see he's got his second Overlord making its way to this location, and the first one is way up in here. Gonna position himself in the back side of the base, which will allow him to go and suicide that in later if he so chooses. So three hatch before pool. That's what I'd love to see is Zerg player likes to take a risk. And we're probably gonna see a lot of drones. <laughs> I a lot, a lot of drones coming out of Hyun here pretty soon. I uh, hope we'll be able to get up to uh, many, many, many drones in Marine King Prime. We're going to double gas already. He's got enough barracks to produce units out of. He's going to get up to uh, get up to factory tech. Maybe transition to Banshee. Probably not. Maybe just going to go Marine Tank. I don't know. We will see. So uh, two barracks here. Um, I think his best play here, at least what I'm, I think Marine King Prime is going to do here, is just make about maybe. 8, 15 Marines, and then maybe push it across the map? That's my guess here, because I don't know why he wouldn't do that. Uh, but we'll see what he's going to do anyways. The hatcheries are up. Hopefully we'll see a lot of uh, queen play coming out of uh, Hyun here. I really like Hyun's like, mass zergling style. It's so much fun to watch. I remember whenever he started playing uh, StarCraft 2, and I just, I just his games are really memorable for me. I was like, Wow, it's like, I've never seen anyone make so damn many Zerglings. They're just all over the place, and he made it work. Uh, Zerglings are that unit. They're kind of like, they're sort of like DTs, but you have to be a little bit sneakier with them, if that makes any sense, because run buys, you can just make run buys so effective. Uh, you can set up flanks, you can pick off units uh, in a rally. Uh, just Zerglings, if they're in the right spot at the right time, they can just do so much damage. They're great for scouting, because you got so damn many of them. So, uh, Zergling, definitely one of my favorite units of the game. Definitely up there at the top of these. Warp Prism, still my number one unit in the game. Love that Warp Prism since ever. Okay, so here we go. Two, three barracks gonna pop. Gonna throw a reactor on this guy more than likely here. Actually, maybe swap that to here uh, and have two barracks with reactors and one with a tech lab. Stim being researched. No engineering base yet. Still playing a little defensive here at the Marine, so he's not gonna push out across the map with that. Just gonna chill out here. A little bit of defense. And a baneling nest going up here for Hyun. A 
three queens and I'm working on his fourth. So not much creep tumor action going on yet. Two active tumors it looks like. He just started that next one. And <coughs> excuse me, this queen uh, hasn't started any creep down here yet. But there we go, another queen popping out. So that'll be good. And two more gas is going to go up for him here. And even a third back at his main and setting up the layer tech. Baneling nest close to being done. Eight more drones being produced. He's got the hellions out here in the front. Ranking prime. Let's look at the harvest count. 50 versus 37. That's what you can do with three hatcheries. Early on in the game, whenever your opponent isn't doing any pressure. So Hyun has played this really well. He uh, scouted out the quick uh, command sitter and decided to take advantage of that by going three hatch before pool. Love to see that. You can just see how much more he spent on economy, just like all those extra drones up there. It's why does that say? Oh yeah, question mark. I was like, why is it a question mark? It's Ring King Prime. Everybody knows who he is. Stupid. Starcraft doesn't even Ring King Prime. <laughs> So the wall is going to go up and the factory is getting moved to the front here, so uh, quite interesting. Going to go for a complete wall off, so we're going to see a timing attack here. Medics coming up. The stim is just not finishing, so he's going to have uh, medics, hellions, and some marines pushing out across the map here. Um, and just set up a wall so he knows he's going to be pushing out and expanding behind it. I love to see that. This is a really... Uh, good attack here from Ranking Prime. Let's see what he can do with it. His opponent on the other side of the map. He's got a lot of queens down here at the bottom. Two evolution chambers getting 1-1 one, one on the way for the Zerglings. Banelings coming out. 30 Zerglings being produced. He must have seen this earlier uh, due to his overlords. But we have an attack here going down to the third base for Marine King Prime. Uh, is, he, is Hyun going to be able to deal with this? Skang goes down. He's going to take out those creep tumors. Yep. Hellion's pushing up front. Going to be able to roast those Zerglings. Marines with Stim pushing forward. They're going to make their way up here to the expansion. Focus Fire going to kill the Queens first. Just kind of spreading out here. Now come the Zerglings. Bailing's going to get in make some connections. No, Marine King with some good splitting. Only uses about three or four guys. More Bailing's. More Bailing's coming in here. And now he's going to split fairly well. There's still a lot of Queens. Plenty of Medivacs. Two Medivacs here doing some healing. Queens are forced to retreat. Doesn't have enough for more transfusions. No, it doesn't. Both of those. All the Queens are falling. More Zergling reinforcements forced to pull drones. And at the last second, Marine King Prime picks him up and heads out of there. Let's check the old resources loss tab, and Marine King Prime faring very well in that attack. Uh, I love attacks like these. Um, expands behind this push, you know, just forced to do some pressure. Doing a lot of damage, make it cost effective, giving yourself a little bit of advantage. And whenever you get a little advantage, sure you get an advantage in game, like uh, statistically you've got, you know, you've lost less units than you've spent on them. So that's always good. And you've killed more than you've lost, if that makes any sense. But uh, another thing is, uh, oh no, he needs to pick those up. He's like playing with death here. Marine King, <laughs> Marine King must have been doing something else entirely. Because uh, that was just not typical <laughs> Marine King style. But, um, so on top of getting like an actual advantage, your opponent sometimes can be worried like, oh man, that, that went really well for him. And that kind of sucks for me, so got a little bit of a psychological edge there too and Hyun getting supply blocked right there he's gonna have to make four more four more overlords here get some more supply up spire on the way the fourth base is gonna go up but Marine King's probably see that no I don't think he did nope did not see that here come more Marines a lot of Zerglings where are the Bailings Bailings with the speed up he needs to get around get the flank there he goes a couple of good connects there and he should be able to clean this up where were the medevacs at Marine King Prime you bit off more than you could chew there Hyun was you know he, Marine King was like, he was went, signed up for all you can eat, and he un just fed him until his face exploded, and all the Marines died. So, um, definitely should have picked those up in that medevac. He un with, I think, is 1-1. One, one. Yes, 1-1 one, one has to be done by now. There we go, Bailings plus 1-1. One, one. Zerglings making their way over here to the third base, going to stop the building of this command center, and no, they're not. It's not going to force cancel. He's just going to run out of here. Tanks are just going to show up, but look at this, 11 Mutalisks. Coming out of Hyun. Uh, where is that spire at? Here it is, even getting the plus one attack upgrade. So a little bit of a transition here for Hyun. Uh, even more Zerglings coming out. Like I was saying, this man loves to make Zerglings. 85 drones versus 72 SCBs. Four queens out on the map. So he's got his queen population up and going again, even starting another one. Creep not doing so hot though, unfortunately. We have them muted down here at the bottom. Marine King Prime is going to take out the Destructor Rocks in the middle in case he wants to go for a push a little bit later in the game. Hyun, what is he going to be able to accomplish here? Only one turret and no Marines to speak of anywhere. So he can do a lot of damage here. Going to go focus fire down on the missile turret. It's going to go down very quickly. Marines just now spawn, though, from those barracks with the reactors. And Hyun's not paying attention. And he actually saves the missile turret. Holy cow. That went extremely well there for Marine King Prime. 
And uh, I'm not sure how many uh, workers he lost there, if any. So he's killed three total, so that's not very many at all. Whoops. A lot of Zerglings, a lot of Banelings, and a couple of Mutalisks out. Twelve more Zerglings on the way. Hyun is going to have a big attack here. Marine King Prime moving his command center to the fourth position uh, and building a couple more missile turrets. Three more missile turrets going down in pretty good positions. Uh, going to leave these Marines here back in the main for defense. And one here at the natural. Oh, no, some, uh, wow, Mutas. It looks like he lost two or three there. And he is moving for a big attack. He's at 188 supply. He was at about 200 there for a second until he lost those Mutalisks. So in a bad position, look at all these Banelings. 47 Banelings on top of what he's already got. How many does he already have? 35. Holy cow. And that's going to be a planetary. <laughs> but maybe not for much longer. Tank's in a really good position, though, here. He really needs to take those tanks out. Nice! Marines are nowhere to be seen. He really needs to take out those tanks. Oh, my gosh. If he would have just taken that one tank out, I think that would have been worth it. He's only had two hits left. Uh, so here come the Zerglings. Here come the Banelings. Hyun is just going to right-click on that planetary, and that's going to be gone. Here he comes. So many Banelings coming out here. And there they go. They're just going to bust in everything. Planetary falls like I wasn't even there. Marines just getting trashed. Hyun, 171 supply, 146. Marine King Prime needs a micro like he's never before. Uh, tank trying to hold the wall there, but there's not enough stuff. Too many Banelings, and Hyun is just continuing to... Just wash through Marine King's base here. Oh, no, no. The supply depot was down. He walks in, gets a free pass. Marine King Prime didn't have the security system turned on, and the Banelings are just continuing to eat up everything. Zerglings are now in the main. They're going to take out the uh, reactors. SCV's coming to fight, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's producing nine Marines at a time, but Hyun's producing like 18 Zerglings. So many Zerglings going to take out a factory here at the front. All the medevacs hanging around with nothing to heal, unfortunately. And, oh, man, he's only fighting with what, like, so he's got a couple more Marines coming out. There's just so many Zerglings. He did manage to raise up the, oh, my God, he got him up. But, no, he's he's got a little wall here because that one is down. More Banelings being produced. Hyun is just bashing his way in here to Marine King from space. And he's got some Marines here. He's got a nice wall, but as soon as these Banelings pop, so maybe too much that these Marines are holding this insanely well. Look at this with all those meta back here. Here come the Banelings. Focus fire. Nice splits, though. He keeps them alive. He needs to get two hits on those Banelings, to, or two hit, two Banelings to take out the Marines. And Marine King Prime with some amazing micro and mass medevacs actually manages to hold that ramp. Crazy, crazy hold there. Wow. And down in the bottom right, we've got a drop, it looks like. Marine King Prime trying to get back in this game with some counter harassment. 3 3 on the way for Marine King. 10 Marines being produced at a time. Hyun is making an infestation pit. He wants to get at the uh, hive tech. He probably thought that was going to be the end of the game right there, but it was not, sadly, for him. A lot of action here in the past couple minutes. That That's just the attack from Hyun just kind of like, it was like a tsunami of banelings. Just, they just kept going. They took out that planetary. It seemed like almost instantly tanks being taken out, everything just going down. Let's check the worker count loss. 43 workers. It was three. After that mute arrest, and then it was 40. That's, or 43, I should say. That is a crazy attack. Marine King Prime, and he was pushing out, and he's going back. Now he's, okay, now he's going to go for it. He's got one siege tank um, with one attack upgrade, and he's trying to take a base, but Marine King's going to, Prime is going to say, no, thank you. I need to make my comeback. Uh, and here comes so many Zerglings and Banelings going to get here. The tank's going to siege up. One of them is up. The second one isn't. Banelings, there's so many units here. Tanks, nice focus fire on the Banelings. But they're, I don't know, it's, who's going to win this? There's so many medevacs. There we go. Some nice bailing connects, and it's too much. Hyun is going to take that army once again. And these medevacs are going to have to deal with a couple mutas now in flight. Three of them left, but there are there's two Vikings left. And it seems like, no, he's going to turn away. Nope, now he's going to come back. Should be able to take out these Vikings, no problem. There they go. Zerglings getting underneath there. Going to dig through the wreckage. Couple creep tumors being placed here. He not giving up on the creep tumors. I like that. Uh, hive tech close to being done. Ranking Prime trying to rebuild this fourth base. He needs to have some more late game potential here. But look at this 3 3 so close to being done for Hyun. Um, more barracks here at the top. SCV is pretty good saturated on these, but his natural is getting extremely low here. He's desperately in need of this fourth base. Uh, some circling flank is going to be set up here. He's got a rally to go down to this third base. Nothing here to speak of. Uh, so these Zerglings should be able to do a lot of damage unless he just catches a rally of Marines popping out of there. Marine King Prime making his way across the map. 3-3 upgrade is done. The Zerglings, they're being repositioned. Uh, he's starting his 3-3 here too, but Marine King has better upgrades. Infestors are at. Banelings do connect. Siege tanks are up. Focus fire goes down there. Nice fungals. 
in the back. It's now just tanks and a couple marine Marines left from Marine King, but he's got so many medevacs. And the Marines are just pushing forward here. He really has to get a connect with those bailings to kill these Marines uh, because there's just like a medevac per Marine at this point. He just gets so cost effective with that many Marines and that many medevacs. He really needs to take out these medevacs to uh, ensure his victory. Just because this, the amount of medevacs he has is just making his Marines so much more cost effective than they could be. Uh, if he just had maybe a couple more mutas, maybe like four or five mutas just to take these medevacs out during the fight. Uh, after you clean up the Marines. And Marine King Prime all over the place. Sees that those Marines or those Zerklings coming here to the third for a counterattack. Stops that before any of that happens. So 3-3 uh, three, three close to being halfway done here. Just now being halfway done here for Hyun. He's got the adrenaline glands close to being done too. He might want to wait for those to finish. That's so close to being done. But no, he's going to go for it anyway. He senses blood in the water. He's going to go for it. Uh, Infestor's in the back here. He's not going to land any fungals yet. He doesn't have enough for any fungals actually. And the Zerglings, there's a lot of Zerglings here. Marine King Prime do as, as well as splitting as he can. Continue to push back. The Planetary is in range. He's going to start taking some shots. Kills three Zerglings. Four, I think, there. And falls back now. Marine King Prime is going to continue to push his advantage with that many Marines and Medivacs. He can just feel like he's just be cost-effective all day, every day. Since the tire is up here for Marine King Prime, he doesn't have to worry about any type of mutant harassment anymore. Uh, he has transitioned into Infestors. His Hive Tech is done as he started a uh, -da -da -da, no late game, no Tier 3 tech here for him yet. No uh, Ultralisks or Broodlords. Just sticking with the Zergling Infestor combination. 3-3 three, three close being done. And Marine King Prime already preemptively splitting his Marines here, looking pretty dandy. Zergling scouting the top left base. Nothing's up there. It's good news for him. It's always terrible whenever you scout a base that's already been mined for a little bit, and you're thinking, "Oh no, how long has that been there?" That's just, that's just the worst. More bailings being produced. Hyun with a nice gas bank, uh, double that of Marine King Primes. I heard something explode. Oh, he was building a command center up there. Got to cancel it with a couple Zerglings. Marine King Prime moving into position. He's going to get a catch him right here, right in the middle of nowhere. Good fungal goes. Bailings are going to connect. And wow, look at this. Hyun is going to be able to take out so many Marines here. Uh, from Marine King Prime, wasn't ready, wasn't paying attention. And he's going to have enough to finish it up. No, he's not. These medevacs, these just, some of these Marines just don't die. And oh no, gets all the infestors. Oh no, Marine King Prime just so quick. Cuts off those infestors and drops them. That's a huge hit to Hyun. Those infestors are so, so valuable uh, when dealing with a massive number of Marines. Uh, more tanks, Marines, Marauders being produced, plus two for the mech on the way. He's got three more infestors here. Uh, and just so many Zerglings, three, three Zerglings. So, uh, shit is plating on the way. Maybe, see, actually, there, the Ultra Attack. Uh, four Ultras on the way, but they may not come soon enough. Marine King Prime is feeling lucky. He's pushing his way here. He's just not giving up at any moment. This fourth base here in the middle, actually fifth base here in the middle, is going to fall. And he's going to continue to push his advantage. going to get up that ramp, take out some more creep tumors, and get into position. No, he's going to fall back, figuring, all right, I did some damage, and quit while I'm ahead. Playing it safe here. Zerglings getting a couple SCV kills here. Actually, uh, yeah, quite a few SCV kills here. Killed all of them, but about four there. Marauders will be able to finish the rest of that. Now we have Marine King Prime pushing his way down here to the bottom right. Infestor, or actually Ultralisk, will be able to get picked off. No, we will not. Siege tank sieging up there in the back. And this hatchery is going to fall so fast. The Marines stimming all they want because there's just so many medevacs. Look at all that. And here come the Infestor. He's going to get a fungal, nice fungal right there, but he's not going to push up the ramp. Too many units. And Marine King Prime didn't lose anything just because he has so many medevacs. And look at the energy on these guys. It's just like there's just been so many medevacs the whole time. He can just kind of stim whenever he feels like it. This game goes down, kills the creep tumors, and he not really wanting to engage that. I thought he was gonna go for the. Uh, I thought he was gonna go for the planetary there, but uh, he saw Marine King Prime pushing forward. He was worried about something. Uh, oh, nice! He's gonna get a couple of these medevacs. That is exactly what he needs to do. He really needs to put a hurt on this medevac count. The broodlords are out. And the one medevac does not get away. Uh, Hian repositioning here, going to the left now, making his way here through the bottom part of the map. Fungal goes in. He's going to pick off a couple more medevacs. A big fungal. No, he does not get it. The Infestors finally get in there. Broodlords are in the back. He's got Ultras tanking up the front. Infestors, Zerglings down there. Broodlings all over the place with the Broodlords with some nice upgrades there. Plus one. And, of course, the Broodlings are upgraded. Also, the Ultras are about to die. Infestors quickly need to fall back. The Marines are going to get underneath the Broodlords and take them all out. One by one, Marine King Prime is just battling back this Tier 3 army. And now he's just going to continue to chase. 
But no, he's just going to take out the rest of those Infested Terran and then fall back. But he un... There he goes, GG. That was... That was it. Marine King Prime is just so... On top of this... With that micro, the Metavax. Crazy, crazy game here from Marine King Prime. I mean, I thought he had it with that big attack. I, th I think he thinks... I think he thought he had it. <laughs> but no, he didn't. Marine King Prime does not know what give up means. But he knows what GG means. And he on GG's right here. Uh, just so cost effective with the, the insane number of medevacs. The only thing I really think Hyun should have done better is taking out the medevacs. Um, just letting them sit around the whole time. Just like he couldn't kill the marines unless he fungled them and or hit them with two banelings. That was just like the only way to kill him because the, the medevacs was just healing everything all the time. Uh, no matter what the engagement was. So... Not to mention, Marine King Prime got his 3-3 before he undid, so uh, those 3-3 uh, three, three Marines are pretty deadly. So that's all I got for this game. That was game number two between Marine King, bleh, Marine King Prime and TSL Hyun. Thank you guys for watching. You can check out more of my videos at youtube.com slash Subscribe if you want to. Like the video if you enjoyed it. See you guys later.